Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Esme. And I'm Roger. And welcome, welcome to Roger, Roger and Esme Vlogs. So for today's topic is signs of serious LDR relationship with your Filipina. Wow, this is a good topic today. And for sure, uh, most of our viewers really relate this topic, right? So, before we start, maraming salamat sa inyong suporta o paghigugma sa among channel. Thank you so much for your support and love, guys. And again, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And click the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. Okay, so let's start with our topic now. So, uh, in LDR or a long distance relationship, you should have like commitments, um, common goals, uh, what else? Um, efforts. So, this should be like um, a foundation. Yeah, a foundation to have a good and strong LDR or a long distance relationship. True. And, and um, now there are some signs that we can give you and I give or this is also like um, a tips which you can follow to keep your relationship or LDR, right? Um, now, can you give us what are those uh, signs? So the signs are regular chatting, guys. Regular talk and chatting with your Filipina. So we actually noticed that with Ate, right? Yes, as uh, we like uh, talk to her, right? Yes. Next is she will actually um, make an effort to spend uh, uh, money. Money and time, but uh, especially it's hard for her to, to go to your place, but... Um, there are some instances that, that she could also spend money or time, right? Yeah, it's like a, giving an effort to really um, try to visit you, try to connect to you. It's like showing that she's really serious, guys. So next is both of you enjoy each other's company. Yes. Okay, next one. Next is you often talk about your goals. Yeah, that's really important. And next is you have a like you have timeline of how long you're gonna be a long distance. Yes, like you have to put um, let's say a limit. Okay, that. Uh, Let's say, for example, you will be in a long distance for 10 years or 15 years. Like, like everything is okay to settle down with you. Yeah. Next is your trust. You trust each other. So trust is a big word, guys. And it is um, really important, especially if you're in an LDR relationship. Okay, so again, let's go back to number one and let's try to um, elaborate or uh, discuss what is really like about it, right? So now, number one is um, regular talk and chat. So this sign is really important, even if how busy um, you are or you're Filipina. You should give time, right? Uh, even though they're like um, an emergency, let's say coming up, but I chat with you, like uh, sorry, I can I cannot talk to you, but that would be still a sign that uh, you or she really gives importance because that's an emergency. But she always like things. Update an update what's going on right so again talk or communication or chatting is really important and if um, she really gives you that you know sign meaning to say she's really um, in love and 
she wants to make time with you, right? Yeah. Um, I would say if a Filipina would really spend time with you, chatting, talking, video, video calling each other, um, I would think that that Filipina really, really wants your time in the relationship. She wants to communicate. She wants to know what are the things that you've done this day. Yes, and... Uh... Like make make an effort, right? Like I said earlier, uh, in a long distance relationship, you have to make an effort. And like I said, also even how busy you are, or um, even if how hectic your time, you should give uh, time to talk and chat with each other. Even if like say, how are you? How's your day? So let's say for example, if you are really busy, yeah, asking how are you, it's a big, you know. Uh, a big word or a big um you know a, a big impact to your relationship true like knowing the situation of your partner is a good information too and it gives you a peace of mind yes because ne uh in addition to that because there are cases that you know for example, you cannot or she cannot update what's going on and you will be for sure worried about what's what's going on or what, what happened. Right? True. That's true. Next is she will make an effort to spend money or spend time to visit you. So I know, guys, it's a little bit impossible, especially if your Filipina has just some, like, the wages is not really that high so but she would still provide time for you and even though the busiest day um she would make an effort so that's a good sign already guys that she is really interested and very serious with your relationship yeah there are some filipino women that they would really spend money and time like to go to your country to visit you even though how hard or uh, how like expensive going to your place but she really you know make an effort to have a uh, money and then if your filipina can't really afford then um she she give time. uh time that's the only thing that uh, she could give because you know she knows she knows that you will be going here coming here in the philippines for her and um not only that, um, spending money, even if uh, a small things like she can buy you like a gift and just show you it online during you know the video call, right? True, that's really true. Just give efforts. That's about it. Next is both of you enjoy the time spent together. So you would really know that the communication or the 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 connection is there, especially if you're Filipina would really like wants to talk to you there's no uh, there's not a dull moment uh, every day even though that you would like talk about the things that you do every day so she would really enjoy talking to you mingle with you have a conversation with you even though that she doesn't know it but she would think that oh i i get a lot of information coming from him yes and uh, that's that's a uh that's one thing also and uh let's say for example you will be uh going here in the philippines let's say for example once or twice a year so you have to enjoy those uh moments that you are together because it's really like uh seldom right to happen in your relationship so you have to cherish every time you are together true next is you often talk about your goals so this is my favorite guys if you have a relationship with a serious relationship with your partner you often share goals in life what would be your target what would be your goal what in in after two three years what would be what would you be accomplishing Yes, and uh, that's really important in a long-distance relationship also because um, you already have plans even if you are in LDR, right? Or a long-distance relationship. 
and you have some plans for for your for your future like okay i i want to or we want to build this together and i have i want to have like two or three kids something like that so uh, a plans that or goals that you could also accomplish uh, both right true next is you have a timeline of how long you're gonna be long distance so the same as um her sister and his husband they already um talk it over that he would retire as early as 55 years old um they already have or they set a specific year that his husband would be coming here permanently right yes and um, along with the uh, um, their relationship they already like build uh, let's say for example a house uh, they already build a house here in the Philippines when the time that they can settle down or um, okay this is the you know uh, the specific age that I want to retire and settle down uh, to cut the the long distance relationship you have a place to stay here in the Philippines already um, house is one of the good example that uh, it's a plan of your goal and um, yeah, it, it's a it's a part of your goal rather that you accomplish already because you already build a house in the Philippines. Yes, and at the same time you're already targeting uh, what specific year you would really retire. So you really need to specifically tell her that after ten years we will not be long distance relationship anymore. Yeah, you really have to set um, you know the timeline. Yes, true. Last and the most important thing is you trust each other. Correct. This, uh, you know, the word or the word trust is really a, a big impact to your relationship because you can build a strong foundation, especially yeah, a long distance relationship. If you don't have trust um, in your relationship, that could be easily broken, right, or cut. So, much better to have um, a, solid, solid a solid relationship, solid foundation. You hold the you 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 really hold like especially you have a lot of promises, right? Goals you hold that make that as a a foundation in your relationship, and one is that is the trust. True, because trust is really tricky, guys. Trust can really make you ask yourself, is she really the perfect partner per for me? Um, there you can really know if this relationship would really work, if you really trust her and she really trusts you. Yeah, for sure, there are some doubts because you are in a long-distance relationship, but... You have to erase or remove those yes. doubts. Yes. Remove those doubts so that you can build a strong foundation, a strong relationship. True. So, again, guys, thank you so much for watching till the end. As you can see, we are actually pointing out we have notes here so that we we our thoughts would not scatter anywhere or everywhere so and we would not you know like miss something uh, or points that we need to talk or discuss so i hope um we help you out like give you tips and signs uh how to uh distinguish or know that you are in a, a serious relationship with a filipina True. So, thank you so much, guys. Maraming salamat po. And see you in our next vlog. Bye!